Okay, so we're here with Liam McCoy at the uh, Scott Three Rocks Racing Team Launch. What a great evening, eh, Liam? Oh, it's been an amazing evening so far, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your uh, your career. I know you were at the Cross Worlds last year. That's very exciting. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I was a part of the Worlds team last year for Tabor. Uh, Fantastic, fantastic event. Um, Kim believe the spectators, like 10,000 people in just to watch the juniors race, and it was even more so for the uh, for the elites. And it was just amazing experience. It's taught me a lot, uh, especially going uh, from last season. It taught me a huge amount. So, yeah, it's a major event, and when you're doing the the CX, uh, you know, in Europe, it's like the fans will be here are just wild. You oh, see it. Yeah, it's it's absolutely crazy. It's like it's like the NASCAR of Europe, where it's just like everyone's out watching it. Yeah, so uh, pretty awesome. Pretty, the energy spills over onto the uh, the track and then hopefully into the riders and creates a good race. Absolutely, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the Mavericks from your perspective. I think it's a cool name and I was just talking to, uh, to Noah and a very exciting uh, idea to launch the team with Scott Three Rocks. Yeah, so um, Mavericks, uh, they've been around for about two years now and um, it's been interesting because they, they really uh, started this year uh, when they, Jay had talked to me in the fall about uh, joining the team and he said that we were going to be doing a program with Kyle um, which which I was really interested in uh, because I know it would help me move forward in my career so you know and after that we started picking up other sponsors and uh, it really started snowballing and, and now we're here and it's, it's awesome like I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of it um, and Mavericks to me really is like it's like the next thing it's the three, as Kyle had put it to me it's the three rocks of 2008 where we aren't quite a factory team and but maybe someday we'll become that and I'm, I'm just really proud to be a part of that and be like the first wave of it so I'm really excited very exciting and it's great to see the enthusiasm and, and so what's your first race of the season uh, my first races will be in uh, Benelli and Fontana, California, uh, where I'll be heading down there and uh, racing those two races, and then coming home, and we'll do the first Ontario Cup, and then uh, the Toronto Law Canada Cup, and we'll move into the season from there, doing key races like Nationals and uh, the Molson Am World Cup and uh, the Wyndham U.S. Cup and just some big races, so it's going to be a good year for me. You've got an action-packed season for sure. Awesome, yeah. And it's going to be a really front-end loaded season with the Olympics. Yep. Um, but I think it's going to be good. Absolutely. So, you named some of the best races up there in, in, in your, your first year U23, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So that's a big challenge as well, moving up? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, even in second year junior, there was a lot of competitiveness, but I mean, I was used to running top five in uh, some big races like Colorado U.S. Cup, I was fifth, and um, and yeah, you know, moving into U23, I'm going to have to get used to just uh, fighting for mid-pack positions, but I mean, I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Um, I always love going in as an underdog and just seeing what I can do and uh, not having any pressure on me. So. That's awesome, and you know, it's... Uh it's a big challenge, but you're up for it, it sounds like, and uh, you got a great season ahead, so yep. uh, we're going to wish you all the best, and thanks for spending time with us in Playlist with Three Rocks to launch, and have a great season ahead. Thank you very much.